Hello everyone, and today we're going to be playing Damascus. This is a game created by Team Teal, which consists of just two guys. In this game you will create a unique character and explore the strange and fantastic world that is before you. Train any of your 19 different skills, chat and trade with other players, make friends and slay all sorts of dragons. This game was released on Steam back in May of 2020, has very positive reviews on Steam, and just the pixel art, it reminds me of a really old version of RuneScape, and I was a very big fan of RuneScape back in the classic days. So, we're going to go ahead and create an account, and we're going to jump into it. Let's see what it's all about. Alright, and here we go. Character creation. We got male and female. You have hairstyles. Everything, like I said, is pixel art. This looks like me, to be honest with you. Then you got your top color. We'll just go. I'm wearing a I'm wearing a like a gray shirt today, and I got I got blue shorts on. Alright, and hair color, I'm a little bit, I mean, I'm balding, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Um, my beard looks sometimes like that. Uh, more so around there. Yeah, about right like that is me. So we're going to go ahead and next, there's multiple different types of game modes here. You got regular, no restrictions are applied, recommended for new players. You got an Iron Man, can't trade with others can't use the exchange and you cannot pick up items dropped by other players you got a hardcore iron man who has one life a demonic iron man has the same restrictions as iron man as well as not being able to use the bank and then a hardcore uh demonic iron man one life can't use the bank so for the sake of this first look we're just gonna go ahead and choose regular and here we are into the lovely damascus tutorial uh go ahead and talk to this bear what do i do so the controls in this game uh they're pretty simple just left click right um that's all you gotta do left click and you walk if you, up here there's a little boot icon if you click on that you can sprint and as you're sprinting you get exp towards your sprint skill which is right here. All right. So here we go. We got a guy. This is the bank. What would you do with the bank? Blah, blah, blah. Awesome. Thanks. This is the banker. You can throw stuff in here. Very nice. And it looks like we got the miner here. Um, and you don't actually have to talk to any of these guys. But, you know... Uh, you know, if you want to know a little bit about the game, it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, we just equipped our pickaxe. Click over here. This is copper ore. If you fail, it says you fail to mine the ore from this rock. But other than that, they go right into your inventory. Alright, looks like there is 10 copper ore per node, and it respawns really fast. We're going to go ahead, we'll get an inventory full, and we'll go smelt it. See what we can craft ourselves. Alright, inventory's full. We'll go ahead here, click on the furnace, copper bars, right click, make all. It's as easy as that. Get all these bars. Looks like it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And then we will use the anvil here, and hopefully some, uh, forge us some pretty goodies. All right, right off the bat, we can make boots, gloves, short sword, and a dagger. I'm going to make boots because I don't have any. We're going to make some gloves because I don't have any. And we'll make a short sword. And then I guess since we need to use up all of our materials to get higher level, we'll just make ten more gloves. Got to make seven more, and I think we'll get a level up. And then we can craft the next thing. All right, level up. Now we can make a long sword, a kite shield, and an axe. These require four copper bars. This one's two. So let's make the long sword, and we'll make a shield. 
And then we got two more, so let's just make another sword. I'm going to equip those, make sure they all work, look in nice and fresh. I like it. Um, go ahead, I'll drop these. Just hold shift and left click. Since I don't think there's an NPC to sell anything to here. And I'm just going to keep mining out uh, so I can make a full set. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this. I, it's just kind of, I always like to leave tutorials with you know a full set of gear just because i don't know what the main world is going to look like i don't know if i'm going to have to run and try to find and go through monsters to find copper you never know these things so i mean if it's here and they're not allowing us to experiment with the game might as well take advantage of it right so while i'm sitting here smelting these if you click on this it'll actually tell you what each level unlocks all the way down to 95, you can make E Damascus items. But uh, since we just hit level 5, that means we can do a two-hander and a helmet and a war hammer and a battle axe. I like hammers, so I'm probably going to make a war hammer for myself. And, of course, a helmet. So here's our war hammer. And here's our helmet. Let's see if the helmet shows up on our character. Oh, yes. It does. Alright, as you can tell, I've been busy. I did craft plate legs, and here we go with the plate bodies. And two bars left, I'll make a gladius. There we go. Replaced my uh, chain. Alright. So the next step of this tutorial is fishing. You equip your fishing pole and make sure you have bait and click on the puddle. And here, here we are getting guppies and we can cook them over here at the cooking range. So if we click on the cooking range, click on the guppy, make all. I burnt it and there we go, crafting like perfectly. Let's equip my war hammer. There's a mouse. I just one shot him. The Warhammer has pretty slow attack speed, but um, does heavy damage. I'm not sure if this would be a good starter weapon. Maybe once you get your skills up. It's probably going to be better to use like a Gladius, maybe, at the beginning. Let's see what the attack speed is on this. That's a lot faster. Alright, that was fun killing rats. We're going to go ahead and go to the mainland. Here is the mainland. If we hit M, it does have a world map. It looks like we are in Split City. Looks like there's stuff around here, there's stuff north. This is the Isle of the Blood Bowl, there's Twin Peaks. Quite a bit of content to, to go roam around. Plus I'm sure there's downs and dungeons and things like that, so. Looks like, uh, this guy has a quest for me. I should speak to Frogman King near or in the Three River Fort. That's right up here. Let's go talk to him. Um, this thing right here is uh, destruction. It says select an item to destroy. So I can click on my war hammer and destroy it. Or I can click on my plate body to destroy them all. And now it's not going to destroy the one that you're wearing. But it's giving us... Um, destruction exp and if i click on this this is like a prayer in in runescape if you want to compare it to that so you know once i hit level 10 we get increased 15 percent increased melee so it's pretty much a prayer they just call it destruction on here i was kind of nervous at first because these guys are level 32 but uh it looks like you can kill these guys. Not like the armor guy, but like you can kill them or you can talk to them. So I guess you got to be careful on what you're clicking on. 
Uh, that looks like a king, doesn't it? Frogman King. Oh, yeah, see that? Look, I can talk or attack him. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Uh, basically, he wants me to check on his delivery in the smuggler's den. That's right here. Just north. We'll head up there. It looks like, uh, Carnegie is the person we need to look for. The mobs around here are not. Uh, passive. They try to attack you. And they are level 16. So you gotta be careful. Aw, turtles! Nice. Level 5 little turtles. Ah, let's look for this cactus. Cactusin. But we gotta find the one with the name. Here's Karen. I found a Uh, wants me to get five shells. Click on here. Yeah, t tortoise shells. Oh, no. Let's go kill the tortoise. This is literally the slowest fight ever. We just keep hitting zeros on each other. It's because I don't have stats. <laughs> Maybe this will be here for a while. Might, might go make a cup of coffee. Oh, hey, look, my defense went up. I, I did look away from the screen a little bit, and it looks like I did hit him, and he's hit me once. So, at least once, unless I've been regenerating HP. And here we go. We're going to get an accuracy level. Boom. Maybe I'll start hitting him more at level 2. Hey, look, I did. Again? I mean, maybe we'll kill him. Oh, we just got done killing him. We increased the melee level too. On to the next one. So if we look at our uh, character screen here, we do have a stats button. So our damage is 2 to 2. Our attack speed is 3 seconds. Melee defense is 9. Range defense 3. Psychic defense is 0. Our range accuracy and our psychic accuracy are negative because we're in heavy armor. So if I take off my plate body, this goes down. So that's cool. You can kind of build the character how you want. I'm out of food, so hopefully this guy stops hitting me. Otherwise, we're gonna have, gonna have to like abort this mission for the time being and go fish and make some food. I killed him. He didn't even drop a a shell. He dropped his meat instead. It looks like there's a cooking range in this town. I'm gonna go cook the meat. At. Hopefully, I have high enough level. And I can't. Looks all like all the things you can make though if you have the right materials. That's cool. There's a couple uh, fishing pools around here though, so I'm just gonna catch these guppies and cook them so I have some food. I just ran out of bait, so hopefully I have enough uh, food to finish my uh, turtle task here. And hopefully I don't burn all of these. So far, so good. I didn't burn one single guppy. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm just super lucky or if, like, the level ups got me a burn rate decrease. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Alright, we just got our fifth shell. I'll go talk to this person again. Alright, we got the shells. Let's talk to the king. Doesn't want to talk to me. I have the five shells. I don't know. Well, since I don't know why the king won't talk to me, I mean, the quest says collect the shipment. I talked to the cactus before I left. Asked me to collect new shells and deliver them to the frogman king. I mean, I just tried to, but it didn't work. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to go back in uh, to the starter area and, like, level up. 
Ah, uh, these are ten. I'm killing chickens for chicken. And I'm killing slimes and stuff. And probably Cookie's chicken. I wonder if it's going to be better than the guppies. And we just got melee level five as well, so that's cool. And I typically just one-shot these guys. They only have one HP. So I'm not really getting much EXP from them, but I'm getting chicken that I can go cook. Here's a Goblin Berserker, level 4. We'll fight him. Hopefully we... So every time they try to do damage to me, I get defense EXP. So we're about to get defense level 6. And then every time I attack them, I get accuracy. Every time they bleed me, I get health EXP. So that's pretty neat. No, oh, he dropped a... Uh, what did he drop? An iron axe. Oh, that's cool. So there's a man right here. You can pickpocket him. I'm going to go try to pickpocket him. Oh, I think it worked. I got EXP. Yeah, I'm getting EXP for pickpocketing. Oh, ow! I guess I failed if he hits me, huh? Oh, man. I guess he could probably kill me. Yeah. Alright. That was fun. It looks like I was getting a couple coins. Not very much. Uh, looks like there's other players here. Faptor and Lithuanian. Looks like they're... Is that a fishing net or something they have? I'm going to see if I can cook these chickens. Not yet. I'm going to have to get some more uh, fish. Level up my cooking. So it looks like one more level, which I just got, gives me the ability to cook that raw meat. So now I can cook the raw meat that I got from the chicken and the turtles. I think I'm going to go ahead and make uh, maybe a better weapon. So I just got my uh, metalwork to 10, which gives me bronze bars. But I'm going to have to get my mining up because I can't actually mine bronze bars yet. Eh, the struggle's real. I want to see if I can sell this armor to anyone. Sells for two coins. I don't think that's really worth it, but, uh... Okay. It's something. Probably should use those for the, the destruction instead of selling to the store. Alright, we just hit mining level 10. Now I can get the tin. And I seen the tin over here to the southeast. Not in here. Um, we'll do that and we'll start making some bronze stuff. I just want to get a better weapon. I don't really care about the armor right now. And here we are. I'm going to do the inventory split in half. So then I can just go make the bars right away. And then forge it out. I guess it's it's lucky that uh, these like copper and tin are so close to each other. <clears throat> I mean, they're just right here. So, right next to town. So you can actually probably do the... Uh, like a, a full inventory run back and forth a few times. But uh, I'm going to smelt these. And then we will take it to the anvil and craft brawn. Looks like I'm getting 5 EXP per craft, so that's two more than just doing uh, copper by itself. Alright, let's see what we can make. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like we can make a longsword and a kite shield. I'll probably do that, to be honest. Nice. Let's craft the rest of these. And maybe we'll do an axe. We'll equip these, and now let's go fight some stuff. Let's check the stats, though. One to six. So my other weapon was two to two. So, I mean, obviously the the range on this weapon is a little bit further, but um, the, the damage on the high end is... I think I'm going to go in these fields to the east of town because there's goblins. Uh, my stamina is just a level 20. Oh, yeah, I hit a five right off the bat. 
Oh, and another one. That's a juicy EXP. Um, I'm just going to kill goblins, and I'm not sure if they drop anything, but this is the type of game where you will just literally grind. I haven't seen another quest, um, and I can't complete the one quest, so I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to kill all these goblins and uh, just grind out some uh, EXP. So like I was saying, this is the type of game where you literally just going to grind out and then go eventually kill the harder things. So, you know, if I were to play this game for weeks and weeks, I would probably, what I personally would do, since I like to be self-sufficient, I would do mining and metalworking and make my own stuff. Get it, you know, a lot better gear. And then I would start grinding out uh, my stats. Uh, for the sake of the video, we're just going to kind of explore. It looks like melee just increased to 7. But this area over here is all premium land. And you can buy bonds to unlock and become a member. And it's actually, you can do a 2-day bond for $0.99 cents or a 14-day bond for $4. That's the only thing they have in this game for is just membership there's no pay to win anything it's just literally the bond to access different areas i respect that oh yeah one of the one of the good things about being a member though is you get guild work um it's kind of like slayer on runescape so you actually get it rewarded for like if you get a task to kill these slime then you could get extra rewards instead of just grinding them out for small GP, maybe a couple little items here and there. We are rolling in the money now. I, I've been playing for a little bit. I got a money-making method. Seems to be working out so far. Um, and I think I'm melee 10. I'm gonna see if I can buy anything from the vendor for money. This guy is the Fletcher, so he's got bows and stuff. Um, this guy's an axe shop. I wonder if he has anything else. I want to buy, like, a upgraded sword or something eventually. So he sells pickaxes and, uh, battle axes. Alright, so that's gonna wrap this video up for Damascus. This game is, you kind of just do whatever you want to do. Um, for some reason, I couldn't get that quest to work. I don't know if I just read it wrong, but, um, and, you know, we kind of walked around Port Haven. There's a bunch of, uh, goblins down there to kill. The Three River Fort, that's probably for if you're around level 20. Smuggler's Den, that's around, like, level 40-ish. Um, I don't know anything about the premium areas, but I'm guessing that's kind of higher level stuff. Um... Obviously, I didn't even touch some of the crafting. Uh, there's mechanics where you can make staffs and uh, crossbows. There's fletching. There's explosives where you can make grenades. You know, there's... Uh, where was the other one? Oh, I think it was under mechanics. Yeah, you can even make rifles and pistols. How awesome is that, right? Now that's obviously high level content and it's going to take a long time to even get like 99 in a skill. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Links in the description below for Damascus. And please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video so more people can find this content. Until next time everyone, peace out.